644 Halloween 2021, now just a fond memory, but it's really never too late for a good ghost story, right? And this one has to do with a living, breathing man named Ghost and the impression his artwork is having on the city of San Antonio. In this week's edition of If These Walls Could Talk, Katrina Weber shows us how he went from military member to a muralist. While his name implies otherwise, the work of an artist known as Ghost is becoming more and more visible. It's on bars and buildings downtown. Not too long ago, though, the artist himself was in battle. You know, a lot of us guys, we come back and we we lost our sense of purpose. He had just wrapped up tours serving in Iraq and Afghanistan when in 2014 he left the army and turned to art. I was just having a lot of problems, having a lot of issues, just kind of reintegrating into regular society again. And uh, as sort of an outlet, I started painting. Murals were a natural progression for Ghost, who had been drawing and painting his whole life, even while in the military. Eventually, the two missions began to meet. No matter how public the artwork is, most artists will tell you it's still personal. For Ghost, that means including a piece of himself in every mural. All of his artwork includes some sort of nod to his military career. I try to put an homage to it as much as I can. He also puts his name on every piece, a label given to him by a friend who he once Boom, scared as a it, prank. Know, a, so it kind of rang the bell, you know, it dinged right there at that moment because we were looking for brand names. He says he's grateful he found both his name and his calling, making him one happy ghost. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.